I'd like to thank Inflection Games for sponsoring this video and providing a free key to Nightingale that I didn't even use and ended up buying the game anyway. Here ain't you, baby. Is you baby? Are you the baby? Yes, you are. You're... Here's the talking points I was told to bring up. <clears throat> Nightingale is available on PC right now. It's available on Steam or the Epic Games Store for $30. It also comes with six-player co-op. And that's all I'm contractually obligated to tell you. The rest of this is in my own words. After 35 hours, I've deduced Nightingale as a spirit-slash-steampunk realm-jumping survival game that emphasizes nature, being British, and exploration. The game starts with you making your character. Since the developers are industry veterans that have worked on games including Mass Effect, Dragon Age, and Far cry, the character creator is quite expansive. But while the character creator has many different ways to make your realm walker as British as humanly possible, it also comes with the inevitable drawback of, good lord, everyone is gross. A funny type of gross. Oh, Poppington, ten, the tenth. <laughs> oh, Poppington, ten, the tenth. After you pick your ancestors and your character, the game begins with a fae by the name of Puck telling you how you got to the position you're in. Puck offers his help to keep you alive amongst the realms. He walks you through some basic tutorials to keep yourself fed and to thrive in the woods. After he leaves, it's up to you to get to work and to see if you can't go further in the realms. Gameplay consists of crafting, harvesting, and exploring. Character progression is not tied directly to the character itself. Your gear is what dictates your level. If someone just starts and is handed level 200 gear, his gear Gear level will reflect that, despite being a new character. In order to get materials that are not native to the world you're in, you need to traverse realms. Using major cards and biome cards, you can re-roll different worlds with different values every time. For example, the three biome cards are forest, swamp, and desert. This changes the world and the enemies that are native to them. Major cards are descriptors that change the level and the aggression of the realm itself. Major cards including abeyance, antiquarian, astrolabe, provisioner, and many more. Try different cards combos to change the world and resources to find things you can't find elsewhere. There's a lot more to the game in truth, but to be frank, Nightingale is a survival game. Fans of the genre like myself will easily enjoy the game's progression, gear, combat, smooth animations, and the building. <laughs> I don't understand. Turn off VP ads. How about you lick my balls? A few pet peeves are the waiting system on crafting, a couple optimization problems, and a few personal quality of life changes. Nightingale is a beautiful survival game that rewards exploration and allows the player to feel like they're making progress each and every time they walk through a portal. With the fun melee combat, magic system, and even the guns, Nightingale's imminent success seems like an inevitability. Everyone appears to look like they're made out of molding clay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to make him fucking old. <laughs> L let's be fucking Brexit geezer. Stop at Toby's and load up a plate. Kiryu Kazuma. <laughs> the geezer. A normal 25 year old man. <laughs> How about tonsil pocket change? Tonsil pocket change at your service. As long as you know you've got myself in your pocket, you'll never be empty. Oh, tonsil pocket change, I will. I like that one. Fly, Realm Walker. The fiends have caught your despairing stench. Man, they're getting kind of close. Fucking love plant fibers. Ah, uh, mm, yes. Mm, total pocket change at your service, sir. Mm, yes. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, would you mind pointing me to the nearest Tesco? I would dare say I'm famished. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm, just like my forefathers before me, yes. To the desert, old boy. Gentlemen, this is Democracy Manifest. Come here! Come here! Are you trying to fight me? Do you not- do you not- Do you seriously want to catch this heat? That's right, you little bastard. Alright, a swamp. Let's see what a swamp's all about. Oh, joy. Good day, Puck. Or should I say, Cuck? <laughs> oh, boy, cotton. Huh. That was really easy. Let's get a good meal going. 
Damn, he fucking. Ow. This man is the throat goat. His whole his whole innards is meat. What a cool little bottle. That's so cool. I'm getting like Princess Mononoke vibes. Oh, oh, it's it, 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 oh, oh, okay. okay. All right, let's see. <laughs> the Tonsil Cave. Is that a dog? Ah! 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 Oh. Quick, hit it! Oh, really just fucking, just really wallop that bitch. Really just fucking give him the beans. Clearly she forced my hand. Everybody saw that. <laughs> I look like the most bored man on planet Earth. <laughs> it's actually a good fishing fishing minigame. Yes, Tonsil Pocket Change is indubitably one of the greatest fishermen of our kind. <laughs> Baby dear Bambi! <laughs> I have an idea. It's not a smart one, but it is an idea. Okay, so I can just walk down there? But why would I walk down there when I could? I can't believe that worked. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Bambi! Lumber... Okay, I, I gotta... I gotta... I don't know where this goes. Where the hell am I? All right. New knife, new pick, don't need the sickle, in my inventory at least, new axe. It feels nice to actually have an axe. <laughs> Not saying that the other one didn't serve its purpose, it absolutely fucked face, but man, it's nice to have an axe, like an axe axe. You look at that and you go, this motherfucker kills people with that. I have an idea. This is a tin pick. This is a shimmering ingot. A shimmering pick. It's level 46. So the material does matter. I thought it was just, oh, you can just make it with whatever you want. The material, I, let's see if it looks different. Slightly. It looks slightly different. That is probably the best tip in the game, by the way. <laughs> I can't tell you how many hours I was playing where I was just pressing E over and over and I was like, fuck's sake, I don't want to do this. And then it's just, oh yeah, you can just pick it all up. I'm just in a really good mood right now. Just happy in my lane. I'm not hurting nobody. It feels good. Jeez, that thing didn't even waste any time. It just said, I'm falling on you right now. gonna stink. Fire would be really good, but it's resistant to blunt. I gotta use my axe. Wait a minute. The bees! Puck, what the fuck do you want? Wide puck! Full of pride, are we? Yes! Alright, back to throwing bees at Derp's house. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs>
Got my Webley. Uh, oh, it's a Shrek sure? gun. That's a cool reload. I respect that. Oh my God, you can fan the hammer.